Hi everyone. Welcome back to Mom's Diner. I changed it from Kathy's Cocina to Mom's Diner open 24 hours as you can see in the back right there. I got a sign. It's pretty much Mom's Diner and I feel like I'm open 24 hours but that's okay because I love cooking for my family. Anyway today what we're going to do is we are making agua fresca which is just basically fresh fruit water. Um, Mexican stores, Mexican places. If you go to any Mexican festival you'll always see the um, agua frescas which are pineapple, mango, watermelon. So today we're doing watermelon frescas, um, agua frescas. I bought a huge, I'm talking like a small infant child size huge watermelon. I've cut up half of it and I'll show you what it looks like and while we're showing you what it looks like you can say hi to my granddaughters. Say hi. Hi. So you can see here that is half that's been chopped up in a bowl so that's gonna be there ready for my grandkids to eat whenever they want the rest of it uh, the other half I'm that's what I'm gonna make the agua fresca with so when you buy a big watermelon when it's on sale I actually joined a co-op that's here in my neighborhood in um, Goodyear they're in Buckeye which is just in a small city west of us so it's a way, it's an, another avenue for me to get really inexpensive fruits and vegetables um, to be able to feed the grandkids, the family, a healthy way of life. I'm trying really hard. As you can see here, I'll show you too what else I have going here. See all the fruit that's in that bowl right there? That's what I got, plus the watermelon. And then I got some zucchini, tomatoes, squash, green beans. So I got a lot of stuff um, from the co-op in today's um box which was for 20 bucks again it's the other one it's a substitute well not a substitute it's an addition to garcia's family produce that i also get my box of fruits and vegetables from so with that said we're going to go ahead and get started so the first batch because you know i have a blender here it doesn't hold a lot so um it's four cups of watermelon and i've just kind of chunked them up they're not in really big pieces um i don't know if i'm going to be able to get all We'll start with this, break this down. So it's going to be four cups of seeded watermelon. I just, the watermelon I had was seedless, so um, half a cup of water. Half a cup of sugar. And it's a small handful of mint. Palmful. I'm gonna say probably maybe about eight or nine, maybe ten, depending on how big your mint leaves are. You don't have to add this um, to it. I like to add it to it because it just gives it that fresh, clean, refreshing taste. So I like to add this. And I think oh, and lime. I don't have a lime, so if you have fresh limes, which obviously is a better alternative to trying to eat healthy. Um, I don't have limes and it didn't come in this um, co-op box so I have just the lime juice that I have so it's just a couple of squirts of lime and we'll get this batch started and then we'll add the rest of the four remaining four cups of So let's get this in there. Let's get this down in there. I think I'm going to have to cut these down a little bit more. I was hoping my blender would do the work for me. What? So let's try that. stuck in there so this one so I guess the rule of thumb is you probably want to cut it into small chunk pieces because this isn't gonna work there we go. so as you can see it so you're gonna have to cut it down into smaller chunks to be able to blend it up um, I was hoping as always to try and find a fast way to do this um, this is a newer blender. I've never done it in this one, so that's why I was hoping this blender could handle it, but obviously not. So we'll 
just add them piece by piece. juice isn't it yeah all right is that juice so here you go are we gonna drink it yes we're gonna drink it <gasps> yummy yummy this is what it looks like yeah so you'll put some ice crushed ice in it And if you're serving it to guests, then just get your little mint sprigs. I have a mint plant at home in my garden, so that's why I get them. But if you don't have them and you, you know, like I said, this is trying to cook easy, basic, what you have at home. If you don't have the mint, that's quite all right. It's going to taste just as yummy. But this is what it looks like. The agua fresca, watermelon. Salud. <laughs> Mm, yummy the mint makes a difference so if you really have the mint use it like but if you don't that's okay and that's how you make it so it's four cups of watermelon half a cup of water half a cup of sugar if you have lime just do the half of a lime squeeze a half juice of a half of a lime if not then a couple of squirts of the juice stuff here and then a small palmful of mint leaves Blend it all up, you have agua fresca. So I'm gonna get going on the other two batches. I ended up having three batches of the four cups, so I had, a, it was a huge watermelon, it really was. That's basically it. Somebody just texted me, so anyway. That's basically it, watermelon, agua fresca. Cheers. What do you think, girls? Good. Good? Good. Yummy? Yummy.